It's Monday, November the 13th. Kia ora, hello. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We've got a busy week of weather this week, and not just around New Zealand, Australia and the South Pacific Islands as well, because we've got a tropical cyclone. This is it here, forming today. Now, at the time that we recorded this on Monday morning, it still didn't have a name, but the Fiji Met Service is expected to give it a name at some point across today. Uh, it is likely to track very close to Fiji, if not over the main island, at some point later on Tuesday and going into Wednesday when it starts to quickly move away. Uh, the exact strength of it is still not known, but we will give you the latest thinking as of uh, right now. Now, meanwhile, on the rest of the map here, with thunderstorms out in the Tasman, that's a cold front coming through, southerly change and slightly cooler for many parts around the eastern side of Australia, and still plenty of thunderstorms from Darwin to Perth and uh, brushing places like Kalgoorlie, more of those heavy showers are expected today and tomorrow. This is the tracking for the likely cyclone. Category one or two is what the Fiji Met Service is saying. They've been hovering around a two for the last couple of days. Some of the modeling today suggests it might get to the severe category three stage uh, as it starts to move in around this point here. Uh, the tracking has moved a wee bit. Uh, yesterday it was more directly over the main island. Today, back out further to the west. Uh, most of the computer modeling has been showing it slightly to the west. But over the last couple of days, more of it moved it in towards Fiji itself. So one to keep a very close eye on over the next 24 hours or so. So this is the animated air pressure map for the end of Monday. You can see the uh, tropical storm up here deepening as it starts to move towards Fiji. There's a big block of high pressure though between the tropical islands and New Zealand. So that's the reason why there's a little bit of uncertainty about exactly how this storm will track because the high pressure zone down here will control it. It will also weaken it. So it's got a chance at the moment to deepen in this low pressure zone here. But as it comes into Fiji, not far south of that, there's a high pressure zone. So that's what we call wind shear and it kind of cuts the top of the storm uh, off. You can also see this cold front in the Tasman. That's about to drive in another change, another sort of westerly change for New Zealand after the settled weekend with high pressure. So let's have a look at the rain that is coming in. You can see here on the west coast, another 90 to 100 millimeters on the way, but elsewhere, just a few showers and the blue you see on here, that's at the very start of the scale just a couple of showers or spits coming over the ranges. In Australia, again, that blue, you can basically ignore that. It's really just the greens and the yellows. The yellows where uh, you're seeing those heavier falls and still not a huge amount of rain. It'll be hit and miss as we're seeing with these thunderstorms and afternoon downpours. So the temperatures in New Zealand are a little interesting at the moment. Warm, pleasant afternoons. This is the departure from normal for today, showing that all of New Zealand, or most of it actually, apart from Stewart Island, is warmer than average, especially in the South Island as those westerlies start to kick in. But with the lighter winds at night time, this is the nighttime map on the right here, the North Island has had a number of colder than average nights. Recently, we've had people telling us on YouTube, hot water bottles being used, the heat pumps back on, even the fire being lit in the top of the North Island because temperatures are down. It's not freezing cold, but it is down to the eight, nine, 10 degree mark, which is not usually the normal for this time of the year in the top of New Zealand. Uh, the, the lower South Island's probably laughing at that. But anyway, let's move on. Here we are for lunchtime Tuesday, 11 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Nandi, and this is when the cyclone is moving very close. So we think it'll be coming in across Tuesday and especially Tuesday night. We'll be updating that, and of course, if you're in Fiji, please do stay up to date with the Fiji Met Service. We follow a lot of the guidance that they have. We do have our own independent thinking though, uh, but the Fiji Met Service are the ones that do the official warnings for Fiji. Now we've also been mentioning Tonga being in the firing line of this. Tomorrow uh, is our next Pacific Island seven day update. We'll be talking a lot more about this tomorrow. Uh, but at this stage, Tonga's just going to get some rain. Most of the wind looks to be offshore, but again, keep an eye on it. Now for New Zealand, those westerly winds are back. Uh, so Tuesday, you'll find that that high pressure zone has moved away and windy westerlies come in. There'll be a few showers uh, here and there, a bit more rain on the west coast and windier the further south you get due to the low pressure zone down there. And in Australia, just briefly, a southerly change, dropping temperatures, Adelaide, Melbourne, Hobart and Sydney, the hot place is Perth. 
Let's get through to uh, later into Tuesday now. This is more towards the later part of Tuesday afternoon. This is the uh, Australian modeling, 956. That's very deep. That's putting it down to a severe category three storm. That would be stronger than what the Fiji Met Service are predicting. We'll keep an eye on this. The worst of the winds from the center out to about that point there, about a 100 or 200 kilometers at the most. Once you get beyond that, it's just your usual windy weather with the heavy rain as well. But obviously this is a serious storm and it only has to jog a little bit further to the east. And it's a very different story for main centers around Fiji. So definitely worth keeping a very close eye on. But the positive news, lunchtime Wednesday, here's Suva, Nandi. I mean, that's a quick movement southward. So it's gone by basically lunchtime Wednesday. So hopefully less than 24 hours as it tracks through the Fiji area, Tonga on the edges of it, getting the rain more than the wind, but that humidity will really lift up. For the New Zealand area, we're not even noticing this cyclone. It's a long way off and there's a high pressure belt in between us. So for now, it doesn't come in and we've got the uh, not the windy westerly so much, but lighter westerlies blowing through around New Zealand and it'll be a bit cooler down in Southland with showers continuing there. And there might be a couple of showers around the eastern and southeastern corners of Australia, but nothing too significant at this stage. Moving through to Thursday and the uh, cyclone or the leftovers of it up here to the north, again, the high pressure belt is still keeping that system well to our north. And here comes the next cold front out of the Tasman Sea. In fact, southerly is coming back again to the southeastern corner of Australia. So spring-like and cooler around southeastern Australia. Bit more rain coming in as we take a look at the next two day rain format, another burst of up to 100 millimeters or so around the west coast, maybe even more than that. So uh, a very wet week for the west coast from the last weekend we've just had through until the next weekend coming up. So as we go into Friday, you can see all that rain and showery weather continuing. Southland again, getting more wet weather and cooler air flows. You do warm up a little bit this week, but not a huge amount. Southland is still one of the coolest regions in the country. But in the north here, subtropical winds starting to come down, and we've got a new low forming in the Tasman, and then the tropical cyclone out here. So this weekend, and that'll be an X cyclone by now, you can see it's really weakening and falling apart. Now you remember cyclone Lola last month, the historical one that formed Category 5, the earliest one ever in the South Pacific. Now that storm fell apart very quickly because it's the wrong time of the year really to have a Category 5 with full life carrying on. That Lola came in from Norfolk Island. This storm is out to the northeast. When they're out to the northeast, they are usually far less likely to impact us. So the wind and the rain is well out here. So we don't really have to worry about that cyclone, at least not at this stage. The modeling has been pretty consistent as well. So we'll keep an eye on it just in case it moves a little closer. But for now, there's a weak cold front coming in on Saturday. And by Sunday, southerly winds around the country and that cyclone has basically completely gone, merging potentially with this low pressure zone somewhere in the New Zealand area here. But as you can see, there's no major storm appearing. In fact, more of those cooler southerlies. There'll be more complaints from Southland and Otago about when is summer turning up. Um, and El Nino is likely to encourage more of these southwesters down here this summer. So there we go. That is the forecast. We've got a few thunderstorms forming as well on Sunday around Australia. That'll be good news for those who get them. So don't forget tomorrow, Tuesday, our next seven day Pacific Islands forecast. We'll be talking a lot more about these storm around Fiji. And obviously uh, for t the rest of today, don't forget to go to our Weather Watch account, Weather Watch NZ on Twitter, especially if you do live in Fiji, we'll be doing updates there and keep up to date with the Fiji Met Service who provide the official warnings for uh, tropical cyclones around Fiji. That's all from me for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, Tuesday. We'll catch you then.